He is known for his goofy roles in movies and on Saturday Night Live. So imagine a San Diego lawmaker's surprise when she says actor Rob Schneider left a disturbing voicemail threatening her next political race. It is all over the hot button issue of vaccinations. 10 News reporter Joe Little spoke with the assembly member who can't believe that she's actually debating the man who is best known as Deuce Bigelow. As I was looking at my phone last night, I saw that Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez posted on her Facebook page that the guy who made the male gigolo funny isn't too happy with her. Turns out that Rob Schneider doesn't like her bill that would increase vaccine rates in places like our public schools. I'm Deuce Bigelow. Yes, that Rob Schneider. The comedian apparently was not happy with the local politician and called her on it. He left a very disturbing message with one of my staff people saying, of course, that he was going to um, spend money against me in my next election. I spoke with the assemblywoman as she was flying out of town on business. Gonzalez is co-sponsoring a bill that would make vaccinations mandatory, citing a number of reasons, including a recent measles outbreak. What we're seeing now is measles, which was eradicated in the year 2000, coming back full force. The efficacy of these shots have not been proven. And the toxicity of these things, we're having more and more side effects. You can find dozens of videos on YouTube of Schneider opposing vaccinations. You can't let the state make the decisions. According to Gonzalez, he left a message threatening to spend a lot of money against her in the next election. You know, this place has gone way downhill. Gonzalez called him back. He just has faulty information. You know, I told him I I'd be more than happy to look at any study that's a peer-reviewed study that's scientific to suggest the things he was talking about. The problem is they don't exist. She then posted on her Facebook page, that is 20 minutes of my life I'll never get back, arguing that vaccines don't cause autism with Deuce Bigelow, male gigolo. Whoa. I did my best to track down the actor to no avail. Not everything you read on the internet is true. Not everything a celebrity says is true. Talking politics, vaccinations, and Deuce Bigelow. This is about the public health. Joe Little, 10 News. Mm -hmm. Well, Assemblywoman Gonzalez says that under her best case scenario, the governor would sign the bill in September. It would then become law in 2016.